This presentation is designed to cater to the needs of mechanical engineering students, regardless of their level of expertise. If you're a student having difficulty comprehending certain concepts, or a professional seeking to brush up on your knowledge, you're in the right place. Our focus is on providing you with clear and concise explanations of solutions to problems in mechanics of machines. In this module, we'll delve into the fundamental concepts of turning moment diagrams, also referred to as crank effort diagrams. This is our second example we are discussing. Torque exerted on a crankshaft of a two-stroke engine is given by the equation T equals to 14,500 plus 2,300 sine 2 theta minus 1,900 cos 2 theta, where theta is the crank angle displacement from the inner dead center. Assuming the resisting torque to be constant, determine 1. The power of the engine when the speed is 150 revolutions per minute. 2. The moment of inertia of the flywheel, if the speed variation is not to exceed plus or minus 0.5% of the mean speed. And three, the angular acceleration of the flywheel when the crank has turned through 30 degrees from the inner dead center. So for the solution, we are given the speed of the engine. Omega is the mean speed, omega one maximum speed, and omega two the minimum, minimum speed. And from the explanation given, the difference between the maximum and minimum speed is equals to 0 0.01 omega. Now, coefficient of fluctuation of speed is given by equation one, and we are now able to calculate it, and we get a value of 0 0.01. Work done is given by the integral of the torque from zero to two pi. And when we plug in the values, we get the work done equal to 29,000 pi Newton meter. But work done is also equals to P mean times theta. And uh, from there, we can be able to get the value of P mean, which is equals to 14,500 Newton meter. Therefore, power can be calculated and it is equals to T mean times omega. And when we plug in the values, we get 227.77 kilowatts and that is our answer. We can go ahead and then sketch the graph of the torque and the mean resisting torque and of interest to us at the points BD, uh, where BCD is excess energy. B at points B and D, the torque is equal to the mean resisting torque and we are able to get the area of the graph under the points B and D. As I mentioned, the point points B and D torque is equal to the mean resisting torque. And uh, we then equate the two and we are able to get the value of theta at points B and D. And then we get, can now calculate the maximum fluctuation of energy at BCD, which is given by equation three. And when we plug in the values, we get the fluctuation of energy equal to 29, 83.28 Newton meter. From there, we also know that the maximum fluctuation of energy is given by I omega squared CS. And uh, we can now get the moment of inertia, which when you plug in the values we get is equals to 1209.08 kilogram per meter squared. And that is our answer. We also know that the excess torque is given by the difference between the torque and the, the mean resisting torque. And uh, when we plug in the values, we get the excess torque at 30 degrees from the inner dead center, which was given to be equal to 1041.86. We also know that excess torque is, give, is equals to moment of inertia times the acceleration. And we are looking for the acceleration, which when we now plug in the values we get is equals to 0 0.862 rads per second squared. And that is our answer. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe to our channel and share.